We've got legendary foods, Pop-Tart things coming up next. We went to GNC or wherever we went. We went to, you think we got these at GNC and we got five of these packets of legendary food Pop-Tart things. I'm sure they don't nice. like us calling them Pop-Tarts, but let's be Tasty real. Tasty pastries. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Yeah. I think these are like Pop-Tarts. We've got brown sugar cinnamon, birthday cake. Strawberry, red velvet, and chocolate cake. All right, where do you want okay. to start? Let's do the cakes together. We'll do the strawberry first, because it sounds nasty. My and we'll save the cinnamon for the last, the brown sugar cinnamon, because that used to be my jam. I mean, like... <laughs> Strawberry jam? Gross. Um, like, <laughs> buy the big double box of just the cinnamon, brown sugar cinnamon ones, and like, every meal. Oh. The box was empty. I used to buy the double, like the big giant ones with the strawberry and the brown sugar cinnamon ones, I and I would do. put them in my uh, work drawer, and I would buy crackers and all kinds of stuff, because I was like, snacking is healthy. This is a healthy snack. This is gonna help me lose weight. And I was like, nah, not skinny at all. I was well, fat, right? You were lying to yourself if you honestly thought that Pop-Tarts was a healthy snack. Shh. But I would buy the big one that had the split and make the children eat the fruit guys because okay. they're gross. All right, enough jibber jabber. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's like jelly. This is gonna make this is gonna make for an awful video, so we'll try to mitigate the noise as much as we can. All right, so again, we're starting with the strawberry. Gross. And <laughs> they're extra poofy. Look at that. They are awful thick. Just a side note: opening these is a chore. <laughs> it's equally as complicated. Here's what it looks like, kind of torn down the middle. There's like pink, gooey stuff. I don't think that's very good, do you? I'm not a fan. That is not good. Yeah, that's, no, I'm solid. I'm good. So the bready part's not bad. It's bready. It's not that hard crustiness. That's like, what I want though. Right, so a Pop-Tart has that hard crusty edge. This does not have that, it's all soft. It's underwhelming in its fruit flavor, which is kind of a good thing because it just tastes sweet. Kind right? of chemically. It does taste a little chemical. It's it's odd. And let's just make sure they're not expired. November 2nd. We're good. They taste a little chemically. They overwhelmingly sweet and bready, which also isn't terrible, but I would never buy that. I'm uh, this disappointed is, with this. This is a, enough. I don't need another one. I don't need another bite of that one. I'm good. All right, what's the next flavor? Let's get chocolate out of the way because I can smell it and okay. it smells funky. We're just selling it here, folks. It smells like chocolate to it me. It smells like chocolate markers. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you were a kid and they'd have like the smelly markers and like there'd be like a chocolate one? Or like chocolate like smelling toys? <laughs> Never had a toy that smelled like chocolate. No? Okay, see there's a slightly darker line in the middle. I don't know, I kind of moved that a little bit. You might not be able to see that. It's weirdly like dried in the middle. Kind of smells like like a pill like uh, like a little Debbie's brownie. Taste it. I think you'll be surprised. Like I don't feel like there's any filling in this. It's way better than that strawberry one. Like way better. It definitely gives off like a brownie mm -hmm. texture and taste, which is okay. I would never compare it to a Pop-Tart. Not a Pop-Tart. No, definitely not a Pop-Tart consistency. No, I think it tastes okay. It's okay. It's better than the strawberry one, a little less chemically. Uh, I didn't taste, I didn't get chemical on this one at all. I did get chemical on the strawberry one, but not on this one. Are you gonna have a birthday cake next? <sighs> I, I dislike birthday cake flavored things. This is what it looks like. So hopefully this one's not terrible. I do feel like they're kind of almost hollow in the middle. Like they should be filled with something. And it shows like there's something in it. But when you go to eat it, it's like it's really not there. I know, you'd almost want it to be like a viscous filling, you know what I mean? Like sticky or something. Yeah. 
I don't get birthday cake at all. No, not even a little bit. No, I get sweet bready, which is, in my opinion, a, a superior choice to birthday cake. Because everything is birthday cake flavored nowadays, and I just like that. But it has no, like, actual taste. I don't get vanilla. I don't get, you know. Slightly chemically. Slightly chemical and sweet bread. Yeah. That's really all I get, sweet bread. I feel like we've had some of these before and they weren't this bad. I think these are like, well, the packaging all looks different. Uh, I, I think if the, I think we had a video somewhere and I'll link it down below. I think it's before you were on camera and I think we got it from somewhere and I just did a whole, we did a whole bunch of stuff tasting. It wasn't uh, like a dedicated video. But I feel like maybe they've been redesigned. I think so. These are not <clears throat> as good as the last ones. Okay, this one is red velvet. Color is very off-putting. What off is that, pudding. velvet? What is that, velvet? Yeah, the color on this is very off-putting. Comment down below what movie that's from. <laughs> if you know, you know. And then the middle is like a light pink. I don't know. This one seems sketch. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> oh, it smells very chemically. That might be what we were smelling over the chocolate one. Yeah, that's the... Smells like a chemical, like not really chocolate. Cause I know what red velvet's like chocolate mixed with something else, right? Whatever makes it red. Yeah, food coloring. I know, but there's a different flavor to it. Oh, it's like, I think it's coffee and chocolate or something like that. Mm. So let us know in the comments down below what you think red velvet I don't velvet remember is. what red velvet's made out of. It's never been a favorite of mine. That's bad. That's really bad. That has like a really bad chemical taste oh wow it, like, that's, woo. it's bad you're like hmm what is that toilet bowl cleaner delicious yeah it's great that one's gonna get thrown in the trash mm. the red velvet is a no disgusting mm -mm. that's awful whoever jacked that one up needs fired if you like that one sound off in the comments and tell us why and who <laughs> hurt you <laughs> if you like that one let us know in the comments what's wrong like how's your life going right now you doing okay oh <laughs> Who hurt you? Wow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. The last one is the brown sugar cinnamon. That's a jippy jip right there. <laughs> and ours has a sad stripe of icing on the front. It's like no icing for you. It does smell like cinnamon though. I really hope it's good. Cause like I said, I Ugh. could I could go to town on a box of Pop Tarts in this brown sugar cinnamon flavor. So I don't know. Sketch a little. You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to. <clears throat> this one's okay. It's not great, but I wouldn't kick it out of bed. I wonder why they went so cakey. I don't know. This one actually does taste really good. Yeah, yeah it's really hard to screw up cinnamon and sugar. It, I mean, it really is. It, it, classic combination, goes with almost anything. You gotta try to make cinnamon and sugar taste bad together. This one's okay. I still probably wouldn't buy it again because these are like $2.50 per package. On sale. On sale. So for it being okay, eh, I wouldn't buy it again. It is nothing, nothing like a Pop-Tart, not even remotely, but the cinnamon and sugar one is good. Cinnamon, it's cinnamon and brown mm -hmm. sugar. If I were somewhere and they were offering these, I would take the cinnamon and brown sugar one. The rest of them, I would have no qualms about walking right past. Even the chocolate one, which isn't bad. It's just, eh. None of these are worth buying to me. Not for the cost. Because I know that I'm gonna sit down and eat like three of them. So I know I'd be buying three of them. There's like $7 plus, right? There's a lot more I could buy with seven bucks. I would rather not. Let us know in the comments if you like these. Maybe I mean, we just got a bad couple bought at different times at different places. I don't know. I think we bought, no, we bought all these at one place at one Did time. We? Maybe yeah. we bought from the cases that fell off the truck and got, and got splashed on by that vat of dangerous chemicals from Robocop. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let us know. Is this something you go to? Is this something you've been thinking about trying? Highly disappointed. Yeah, sorry. Ooh, bad, bad choices. Bad choices were made today. Mm. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna say, you know what? <sighs> you owe us for this one. This was a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's your turn. Like 
share with like everyone you've ever known, like go yes. in your high school yearbook and just send it to people, <laughs> put it out like a freaking chain mail email. Yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you owe us. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.